There's two reasons, really, primarily, that it, it's so powerful. One is that it's built on half-truth. Much of it is, you know, and that's the most powerful deception is when there's truth involved. So they'll take some portion of truth, which we all understand, oh, that's a true thing, you know, and they will build on that, but from that pure foundation, then they add all this other junk, and they twist and corrupt what began as a pure truth. You know, now in this case, for this lie, the truth is that we are saved by grace. That is true, absolutely true. You know, the opposite of that is what Paul was constantly battling in his day, some 30, 40, 50 years before this, which was the lie of legalism that the Judaizers brought forth. So Paul was, you know, that was the great heresy of his day, and he fought it with all his heart, and some of the strong things he says about grace are to refute that lie on the other side. See? So now that Paul is gone, Jerusalem has been decimated by the Romans, and life has gone on almost 30 years after Jerusalem is destroyed. Judaism, as it was, is gone. So Judaizers are gone, you know. So now uh, the enemy brings in this lie of antinomianism through the Greek culture. Antinomianism just means without the law. So, you know, it's now it's on the other side of the spectrum. So there's a truth there that we're saved by grace, but there's also another half to that. It isn't just that. The other part of that is if the Holy Spirit of God is living within you, there's something compelling you to live a holy life, to obey God, and to say that it's all grace and to totally focus on that makes it into a lie. Because it's not the whole truth. It's It's part of the truth, absolutely, but it's not the whole truth. A.W. Tozer said, salvation without obedience is a self-contradictory impossibility because the essence of sin is rebellion against divine authority. You know, you can be in unrepentant sin in the evangelical church. You can do that, but you can't do it in God's kingdom. 